I am a reg registered Republican and mostly vote that way. I'm also a proud member of the Taxpayers Association and as our pre good, tremendous leadership shows, constant due diligence with no hidden agendas, no personal except for the welfare of the taxpayers of Brigantine. I want to address some ads, and I don't want anybody to take this as a personal attack. I'm here in a quest for information for the truth. Those ads that were published in the Beachcomber News last Friday, October 10th. Mayor and Mr. Simpson, in your ad on page 13, you ask, who can you trust when it comes to property taxes? Then on page 15, Lisa McKay, Frank Kern, and Robert Polillo ran an ad accusing you, Mr. Simpson, of not paying real estate taxes for two years on a property to the tune of $59,000. They say you did not have a certificate of occupancy, but yet you earned $100,000 in rental income from that property that you were not paying taxes on. They also say that you hosted political fundraisers at that same house. They also say that Mr. you, Mr. Gunther, attended those functions. Mr. Gunther, as a good friend of Mr. Simpson and as mayor, did you ever ask Mr. Simpson how he managed to get away with that without paying taxes or having a certificate of occupancy for that house? Surely, Mayor, you know that if someone is not paying their fair share of taxes, the rest of us, the common people, who are not connected, have to pick up the tags for those who don't. On page 11, Councilman Kearns had said you approved a 16% pay raise over four years and excluded the firemen from even having to contribute to their own health care. You also allowed Matt Duran to build a city up to a million dollars a year. And if I recall on my own correctly, Mr. Moran one time submitted, at least once, submitted a bill without bothering to state that for any services that he was billing for or state the services that he was billing for. And by the way, I understand that Mr. Moran now collects a state pension. Mayor and Mr. Simpson, for the benefit of the voters of Brigantine, I ask you to say whether these statements in those ads are true or false. If you say they are false, please tell us why they are or what part of them are false. In that case, the people who ran those ads should then explain to us why they are not false accusations. And if these accusations are true, then I think that the voters of Brigantine need to hear your explanations, pro and con. The accusations, are they true? Are they false? Thank you. Mr. Marcosi, um, you know, many years ago when we began televising meetings, uh, we, we knew that um, there would be uh, political attacks that would come as a result of that, but I think the benefit for the public to see their city council at work um, has far outweighed uh, some of the outrageous things that have occurred in this chamber. And um, you were the only one tonight who who brought up uh, political ads. And um, as you know, during the political season, anybody can say anything. And they can certainly exaggerate or, in some cases, uh, make some things up. Um, there will be a candidates forum that is being hosted by your organization on the 25th. And uh, that would be the appropriate place to have a political debate, not here in, in city council chambers. 
Um, it really is not appropriate at a council meeting to have a political debate uh, for an upcoming election. It is appropriate to have that at a council or at a uh, candidate's forum that is already planned. Are you saying that those accusations are political? I no. think that if they're true, they might even <laughs> rise are, to criminal. You, you wouldn't think that someone would write a political ad during an election season. Is that true with what you do in your ads? Everyone during an election season. Including you? Excuse me. I'm not having a debate with you. In fact, Mr. Marcosi, under the rules that were passed by the majority of council, we're not supposed to be having this dialogue. But you do. No. Constantly. Yeah. No. We, um, you know, once again, this will make a, a very good YouTube clip. Um, and I can tell Are you Are you saying that you're refusing to answer my questions? or to answer the charges that were made against charges. you? Charges. Well, if someone That's has charges... Accusation.